Hi, Commissioner DeBone. Good afternoon. Good uh, afternoon. Hello. Hi. Thanks for being willing to do this quick little um, conversation with our community. Um, I've been asking leaders to join me in, in thinking about and talking about the moment we're in right now with respect to the COVID-19 pandemic. And I've thought a lot um, about the fact that people are eight, nine months into this and feeling some fatigue. And um, that can be a moment where our guard slips. Um, so I've been trying to come up with ideas and metaphors for how to talk about it. And I've been thinking about marathons and how you know, on the 23rd or the 24th mile, you're, you're just done and spent. And yet that's the very moment when you have to call on your deepest reserves of energy and really dig deep. And I feel like we're in that moment in our community. And so I wanted to talk with you a little bit about that. Yeah, thanks for having me for sure. Uh, I'm not a runner, so I haven't gone through the 24th mile of a 26 mile marathon, but we are in this together. And it's a good metaphor thinking that uh, it's a long run. Eight months into a worldwide pandemic, this new thing, uh, you know, a hundred years ago, there was a pandemic like this also. Mm -hmm. It takes time to get through it. So uh, now we're going to be going into winter time. They, they say the flu season could be on top of this. And uh, there's no therapy or vaccine for this new novel virus. So that's the reality. That's where we're at. That's yeah. the way I think of it at this point in time. Uh, you know, doing the basics, and you hear it repeated many times, uh, washing hands, wearing masks, staying socially distant. Um, but so it's a different mode of doing business. Uh, you know, I, I see my, my mother-in-law, and you know, I, like people I wouldn't see regularly, but you got to think about, okay, think twice. You're, you're not, maybe not going in for that hug at this point. You, you can't stop some people from hugging, but it's time to really put it in the forefront of your uh, mind space about, okay, how many people have I interacted with recently? Uh, it's valuable to think of, okay, if, if you did do something, you know, by choice or not, slow it down for a few days afterwards, maybe, and just in case, just in case. Right. So that's the kind of stuff I think about at this point in time for a, a pandemic that could spread in our community. That's great. So when you think about the last eight months, um, is there anything you're proud of in this community? Well, so as a Deschutes County Commissioner, we are the local public health authority. So that's a, a terminology for the, the Board of Commissioners, but it's really, I have no expertise in that. We've got our health staff. Public health staff are the professionals uh, and we have our behavioral health staff also. So kind of the two sides of the house at the Deschutes County Health Department. But yeah, public health, think about uh, these are the professionals. This is something that happens with other infectious diseases. We know have, have people that know the industry know the environment and how to help our community slow the spread and uh, you know, be smart about it. So we've got great people in the health department. We've got very professional people and we've been able to spin up in Deschutes County. We have resources that we're able to say, okay, we need more contact tracers. We need more, uh, um, you know, just the, su the supplies for our emergency operations. People were able to keep the supplies going at the, at the critical beginning of this. Uh, so we, it's wonderful to know that we have a great group of people that know how to get on task real fast. So just as a kind of closing thought, um, you know, knowing that people are headed into a time where they want to be close mm -hmm. to the people they love and there's more festivities um, and, and we are fatigued, what can you offer folks that you think um, might help them keep some perspective or you know, stay hopeful in a, yeah. in a tough time, in a really tough time. Well, uh, so I find myself, and uh, if you just take a moment, just like I was talking before, mm -hmm. take a moment and understand the variables. How many people have you come across today? Uh, you go to the store and you did wear a mask and the store was in a, a good condition, or you end up at a, a social event and it was not that scenario. Mm -hmm. uh, slow it down right afterwards. Same, same kind of uh, answer here, but that helps your own personal mental health because the moment that you think, oh, I don't feel well today, then your, your mind start, march, might start racing and thinking, how many people have I seen in the last 24 hours? Where have I been if I'm infectious, if, if I'm infecting other people? Um, and then what comes to mind also, uh, my mom was a nurse for many years. She's retired now. She said a lot of grandpa, grandpa, grandma and grandpas could be affected by this and it could yeah. mean you know, 
uh, end of life for some people that are very old. So that's what we're talking about here. We're seeing it in the numbers. Not everybody goes to the hospital. Not everybody gets really sick. But it's very, it can very much be uh, terminal for a small part of the population. Those are the realities. That's what we have to uh, deal with. So as I say, knowing that you're reducing the variables, how many people you see, the time between visits, that is for your own mental health going to keep you from getting uh, too worried at a point in time. Well, I love that reference to, um, you know, taking control of your own actions as a way to protect your own mental health, because you're right, that that actually um, really does work. Like when things are out of control, having a plan to try to control what you can is one of the ways we protect our mental yeah. health. So um, along with this video, we've got a handout for the community um, and it covers some of these points yeah. to think about for keeping the people you love and your community safe. Um, well, and yeah, the holidays are coming up. We is transitioning into winter. So very exciting to see the snow fly, setting up a Christmas tree or whatever you might do and enjoying the holidays. But uh, yeah, just think of it in a smaller group, a little bit slower pace this year. This is a, t a different time than it has been. Uh, and people are at different stages of your life too, you know, uh, children and young adults and moms and dads and grandma and grandpas. Let's think about what are we going to do for the holidays and how are we going to get through this without, you know, getting overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Commissioner. I really appreciate um, the partnership around community health. I think it's been a good one and um, appreciate your comments today. Yeah, have a great day. Take care. All right.